Hello, hello, hello. This is Attorney Mike Garvin coming to you from Chicago, as usual. We just got a quickie here. I got out of court. Everybody sent me stuff. We need to check in on Janelle. And uh, I'm pushing a clip from Meg. Uh, thank you, Meg. Uh, put, a, put a link to her channel in the description below. I haven't even seen this stuff yet. But, uh, you know, I've got a tie-in. Let's roll. Court does call the case, People versus Janelle Manigault. Good morning, Your Honor. Jamil Williams for Superior Township. Good morning, Silvana Reed, Assistant Public Defender with and on behalf of Ms. Manigault. Ms. Manigault, could you please unmute and state your name for the record? Yes, Janelle Renee Manigault. Thank you. Your Honor, I believe Ms. Manigault has, was, the test was overbooked and she was told that she has to reschedule. This is never going to end. So when do you have it scheduled now, Ms. Manigault? I have to call again, sir. I have a toothache. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah. Went to a date in July. Get it set, please. No, sir. I'll just adjourn this out to July 19th. Thank you. 2023, 9 a.m. Get it done. Mr. Williams, Thank always you. a pleasure, sir. Thank you, Judge. Thank you, guys. Thank Likewise, you. Judge. Take care. <laughs> So I'm okay, well, sir. Hold on, hold on now. I use okay, okay. Just okay. Okay. Thanks to everybody who sent me uh, Miss Manigold, and everyone's telling me about this. I'm not even sure I have it right. I, I just pushed this for Meg. Meg's Crime Watch. Go, go check her out. She's awesome. We're good. All right. This is case number. <clears throat> Give me one second. I'm sorry. Is it time? Is it time already? I've All right. This is case a number. Minute. Um, zero did you get two. To live action. Five six one nine nine zero one. The people of the state of Michigan Thank versus you. Carnell McCrary. The defendant is charged with one count of assault or assault and battery. Today is the date set for a pretrial conference. Appearances, please, Ms. Ritter. For the record, Your Honor, Christina Ritter on behalf of the people. And uh, Mr. McCrary, your name? Arnell Michael McCreary, ill, all lowercase, not the all caps corporation. Nobody oh, writes the new. name in all caps. All right. So today is the date set for um, <clears throat> a pretrial conference. And Mr. McCreary, I understand that you are representing yourself. So how do you wish to proceed, sir? Um, first and foremost, if I may address the court and ask the court a few questions. With all due respect, <laughs> I don't answer questions to counsel. I don't answer questions. That's not my well, role. Well, I just wanted—I just wanted to say, you know, when I first came on to the Zoom, I felt that this court was disrespectful and restrained my First Amendment right to allocate <laughs> myself here in this courtroom. All right. Don't unmute until asked to do so by the court. How about shut your hole, dummy? Is is that disrespectful? Does that work for you? <laughs> All right, I'm ready on more. And I'm not saying this as a personal attack, but that's just how I felt. Hey, no. Mr. McQuarrie, no. all due respect. I'm not interested in your feelings, sir. I'm here to conduct court. So let's conduct court. How do you wish to proceed him, as judge. it relates to your court matter? I will challenge the plenary jurisdiction of this court 
as outlined by state and supreme today court is federal. Not, uh, today is not the date for a motion if you would like to file a motion with the court i can give you a motion hearing uh date but otherwise i want to know as it relates to this pre-trial conference where you've indicated that you okay. want to represent yourself it is um, your responsibility to understand the rules of court and how to represent yourself today <laughs> is only the date set for a pre-trial conference as it relates to the pre-trial conference how do you wish to proceed? Well, if I may speak without being restrained again by the court. With all You're going to be restrained every time you go off course. So yep. well, understand, I'm on, understand every time you go off course, you're going to be restrained. Yes. You're going to be restrained yep. in the same way that I would restrain any other person, any other lawyer, any other person who's not coming to court and addressing the court in the way that you're Thank supposed you. to address the court for the pre trial conference. So I'm asking you, Mr. McCary, as it relates to the pre-trial conference, how do you wish to proceed? I would like to uh, ask that this court remove itself under MCR 2.003 for right. judicial bias. Okay, denied. Once this motion is denied, court, anything further? <laughs> well, I would like to have it sent to the chief judge as required right. by the rule. Mr. Um, Mr. Flanagan, please call the chief judge and let him know that there's a request for rec recusal by Mr. McCrary and ask him how does he wish to proceed with the hearing for Mr. McCrary. Yes, sir. I'm violating code of judicial conduct, judge. And I'm, I haven't been, been doing this for 16 years. I know what the I know what my what I'm supposed 30. to do. So, Mr. McCrary, I'm addressing Mr. McCrary. I'm addressing yes, your request on okay. the recusal. So everything else, we're going to stop talking until I hear from the chief judge as to whether he wants you to come now or if he's going to give you a date. Okay. Thank the you. Rule man, you okay, thank you, Mr. McQuarrie. Thank you, Mr. McQuarrie. Uh, yes, ma'am. Your Honor? Yes, sir. They indicated that he would need to file a motion for recusal before you. And if you deny that, it then goes to the chief judge. He already well, did. I, I accepted well, his formal motion. I denied it. So yep. tell them it's denied. I'm not I'm not okay. requiring him to file a written motion. The court rules don't require a written motion. Correct. He, re he requested the thank you for affirmation, but I don't need it. He requested uh, the recusal and I denied it. So ask them how to this how they want to proceed. I can I can sign a I can sign an order recu uh, of denial if they want me to just do an order of denial. But I've I've denied the recusal request. Yes, Your Honor, the order of denial needs to be signed. And then they're going to give and then they're going to give him a date. How does I mean? In past times. Um, some chief judges take the matter up immediately. So I just want to know, do they want me to give them a date? Do you want her to get a date for that or? Okay. Uh, Your Honor, no date. They said, uh, just sign the order and we'll bring it up. They'll contact them for a date. All right. So um, Mr. McQuarrie, please contact my courtroom. Make sure that my clerk has your a current contact information and apparently the chief judge's office is going to contact you uh, with respect to your um, request for recusal. I will sign an order denying your request um, and then forward that to the chief. Okay. My well, court, how who do you say who do my call? The clerk? I'm what is you, not I'm, sir, if you just if, I mean I promise you I've been doing this for I've been on the bench for 16 years. And I promise you, if you just let me talk, I mean, everything you want to know will be revealed. I promise you. Okay. <laughs> so as I was saying, um, you're going to contact my courtroom and my courtroom phone number is... <laughs> And you will speak with the clerk. Let make sure the clerk has your current contact information so that the chief judge's office can contact you with respect to your hearing 
on my denial of your request for recusal. Anything hello. further with respect to this matter? Please don't unmute. Who is saying hello? Oh, can I speak or no? Oh, well, what is what else is there, um, Mr. McQuarrie? I would like to just say this, Judge. I have nothing personal with you. It's just that Mr. this McQuarrie, is a I don't take now. things personally. Ms. McQuarrie, let me say something to you. So since we're talking, let's talk. If you would if you if you would let the matter proceed, this is an old case. So let me just say this. This case is from 2002. And right. maybe if you Lord. had watched my courtroom on YouTube, maybe, maybe you would have seen how these old cases from 2002 are handled. And then we could have came on here and it would have been handled the same way. However, however, um, we're going to proceed in the manner that you wish to proceed. And so um, I'm not going to keep going on because you've asked me to recuse myself. I have denied the recusal. You have requested an appeal. I have granted that appeal. And that concludes the matter. Is there anything further um, that is needed for the record? Because you don't have well, to tell me it's not personal. I could care less about. I don't take things personal. <laughs> Why would I take things personal? I, I take it. I take it personal because as a black man, a 50 year old man, this has I, nothing um, to do with you being a 50 year old black man. This has anything to do with you being a defendant in this courtroom. Oh, Is there any legal thing for the record? Is there any legal matter for the record? The prosecutor's office has committed a felony against me. Okay, well, contact, you can address that with the, whoever. Um, you can address that with the appropriate parties, but I'm not. All right, so I'm going <laughs> to assume that this I mean, matter, as it relates to the pretrial conference for Mr. McQuarrie, is concluded, unless there's something uh, for the record on behalf of the people. No, Judge, thank you. All right, then, sir, you're all set. You have a great day, and you stay safe. Oh yeah. All right. I want no. I wanted to show off my my cup small here. Claims case. There is no appeal from small. Sorry about that. They continue to play, and I have another horrible clip. If you guys are up for it, I haven't seen all of it. This is this is the one with the zipper. The bottom of this one says the wheels of justice are, are going to roll you into the Wayne County Jail. <laughs> I love it. All right, all right. let's. I, I had one. Th this this is uh, Exhibit Six Million Four Hundred Thirty Two, on why on why humans should not get married. Let's let's do it. Let's do it here. Proceedings regarding support. Mr. Walmer, do you have an update? Our defendant was served March 27th, 2023. Uh, this hearing was set for the establishment of support. Uh, the plaintiff, we imputed at minimum wage. I think he actually gets SSD, but it's just a smidge below minimum wage. Um, so we used minimum wage. We had we used the defendant's first quarter wages um, from business objects. Um, there is zero overnights right now. Um, which obviously affect, affects the child support uh, based on those that was variables. Up to him. Oh. Based on those, it comes out to seven sixty six a month, sixty five dollars ordinary medical for a total of eight thirty one. Okay, I haven't seen all this. It's not that long. It's like ten minutes. I saw like a minute of the middle of it, and all I can tell you is this: this is all I know so far. It gets worse. All right, and uh, sir, do you agree with the recommendation for support? And they're overnight. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah. All right. They're overnight then, uh, because he did not want them in there. All right. Well, hold on. Ma'am, ma do you agree with me? I mean, yes and no. Do you agree with the recommendation? You said yes and no. Well, tell me, tell me what's going on. <laughs> well, I haven't had them overnight because the only time I've had them is when he would allow me to take them in that. 
every other weekend at that. Okay. No, so, uh, you decided to do. What you to do. Is there a, is there any kind of custody or parenting time order? She also said no, she wanted to go the weekend. Moment. She said she wanted to go the weekend, sir. That was it. No, that is not what I said. I got you on around. paper. I turned the paper and to the prosecutor or to them. When did you guys uh, separate? We. No. Like, I moved uh, out November. December. One or, the other. one or the other. You can't both talk at once. Okay. Ma'am, ma when did you uh, separate? It was around the end of November. All right. And uh, your kids are eight and ten. Is that right? Or they were at the time this was filed? No, we have, we have three. three kids. It's three. Eight, ten, oh, five. Eight, ten. Nine, right. soon, nine, soon to be 11, and soon to be five. Nine, 10, and four, then. Yep. Okay. And uh, two of you have lived together the entirety of their lives up until November? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. And then, ma'am, ma'am, you moved out? Yep. Okay. And have you had visitation with the children since you moved out in November? I tried. Um, I tried going. I was there every day after work up until the point where he would tell me what to do. He was controlling. That was the one reason why I had moved out because I couldn't deal with it anymore and I didn't want my kids to see us fighting and stuff all the time. All right. So you've not had overnights in the last six months or so since you moved out? Four times. I've tried. He would not let me because he was not receiving what he thought was good enough for him. I tried in the beginning. All right. So if you're not happy with the uh, time that you, I mean, just because you moved out or separated doesn't mean you don't have rights. I mean, you both have rights to the children. Yeah, exactly. Um, exactly. And I was not giving but, him anything. But, so he okay. therefore but, told me but, I could not see the kid. But if you don't agree on the division of time now that you're separated, then one of you needs to file a custody motion or a parenting time motion. Uh, we're only here today on child support. And child support right. is usually based on the situation that's created by an order, but there's no order. So I just have to kind of go by, right. by what you guys say. Right. But uh, if you want more time with the children or some time with the children or time that's guaranteed, uh, you know, one of you needs to address custody and parenting time. That's not been yep. done. That's not really what the yep. prosecutor gets involved for. They only get involved to set support, usually to reimburse the state for public assistance. I... Right. And they, they are on Medicaid. And I'm aware of that he's on food assistance as well, because that is what my daughter told my mom. The dog okay. can't tell you mine often. Sorry. All right, so I guess with that uh, advice, is one of you going to file a custody or visitation motion? I mean, it's going to be easier now because they're out of school in a couple of days, so I'll be able to see them every day after I get out of work and overnight, as long as he can't stop that because that's what he's been doing. I can't well, take them to school because I work at 5 in the morning. Yeah, basically, there's no order in place, so either of you has the right legally to have the children at any time at any place. I mean, there's no, yep, exactly. there's no order that says one of you has weekends and the other one has during yep. the week or every other week. Yep, there's exactly. nothing. You're exactly. both legal parents, Thank so you. If, if the children are with the father, that's a perfectly legal situation. If the children yep. are with the mother, that's a perfectly yep. legal situation. Um, yep. So, uh, you know, neither of you have really a, a, no custody until a, a, greater, a greater yeah, right to the children than the other. What do you want to say, sir? I just, oh, she it had, was easier I, for my them. Children, my children have called her multiple times, never got no answers, don't even really have a phone number for her. Okay. No, you do have a phone number. Don't say yeah. you don't have a phone number. Okay. The reason Thank why you, you couldn't know. get through is because argue. you can't send... You can't not, send any messages that are reasonable. I, send you, I don't even send you messages. You, 
No, you do no, send no, messages. Don't that. pretend say you don't. No, no, you do. No, I have blocked you no. several times and I've unblocked you because you can't no. send messages. No, you can't no, no. speak no. the way you need to speak. I, I told you what's going on with the messages. That's why you're taking the messages that way. Yeah. I already turned. I, I I'm started not, doing emails. I'm not going to hurt you, Dad. You will not talk to me the way you need to talk uh, to me in regular also, messages. Also, don't sit here and say sir. you don't have a phone number. Also, sir, because you do also, have a phone sir, number. I, I, I just already up. filed for Crossy Forum. I just got to get the paper. <laughs> he just gave up. <laughs> yeah, well, it's not going to go through because I will fight tooth and nail like I always have. They're not going to be with you forever. You, you, you haven't you haven't even tried. Yeah. You can call school. I have please. tried. Don't sit there and say I haven't tried. You haven't tried. Don't sit there and say I haven't tried because you have not let me do anything since I haven't given you anything, and that no. is not your right. There's no custody oh, no, established, no, no, no. so you can have no, my kids from you. Haven't given me nothing. That ain't because of that, Des. So don't try yes, that. Yes, it is so, because sir, of that. So, yes, sir, it is. Sir, did you get a? Sir, did you get a hearing date? Hearing date for for. You said you, said you had all the paperwork for custody. No, did you get a hearing no, date? I didn't turn it in. Yeah, I was going to see if we could do that. Uh, come to a conclusion before I. Did that? She wanted no, every other. Kind of I don't think you guys are going to. I'm going to mute you both here in a second until I ask you a question. All right, that's all I was waiting for. <laughs> Sorry, I don't think you guys are going to agree that's on anything. I so I would go ahead, one of you, and file a custody motion so that custody and visitation can be established. My lawyer, I'll, uh, I'll probably get over there by Friday. But otherwise, uh, she can have other way, other you can like she signed the paper and said, and, and we have no you, problem. Uh, she don't even have a problem, little, little you bad much. You get that. Don't even, I don't have a what established. Thing. If you get that filed by Friday, your hearing will probably be on uh, June 26th. I'll adjourn this to June 26th. When you file that motion, ask for uh, a time of 10 o'clock. I'll adjourn this until June 26th at 10 o'clock. I'll see you guys then. All right, let's see here. Um, Mr. Malkin and Ms. Hunter. Here are, here. here are the ones that we have. I don't All know right. if you got the list. This is just auto playing uh, now. Of the one that were removed. <laughs> here we go. Did you get the updated list? I think I sent it to you, but a couple more. Yeah, I got so, it. And I've seen, I scrubbed the calendar this morning, so I've seen who was indicted and who's out of jail. All right. And then you see. We All right, there, there, there you have it. I, I didn't mean to to go to. Uh, I didn't mean to go to Judge Manning on purpose. Just the YouTube algorithm takes me there automatically. <laughs> I enjoyed that though. They got to bickering. It was just. It was. <laughs> I just like how the judge just find eh, whatever. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna let you you know yell it out here for a minute i there, there's nothing you could do there's nothing you could do ah uh, love it's a beautiful thing it really is it really is all right i want to thank uh, meg again for that everybody for sending me uh janelle manigold i, I just had a I, I had those couple quick ones i wanted to do the the, the page thing was really really just a bonus I, that came across my feed. I saw a minute of that. I'm like, oh, good Lord. What is going on here? Uh, but, uh, yeah, you know, the, in essence, all they wanted to do was bicker about things that weren't before the judge. That, that's all that happened. He's like, hey, if you want to file an appropriate motion so we can actually uh, address these issues, I, I'm all for it. But not today. N not today, people. All right. Thank you all for coming out. I appreciate it. All right, all right, quick little uh, impromptu stream here. I'll see you all soon.